in the countryside has been going on for many thousands of years. In Britain we've got a unique system of public footpaths, over 140,000 miles of them. And added to that, we've got three and a half million acres of newly designated open access land. We're in the heart of Wales, in southern Snowdonia, and we're following the River Mouthack from its source high on the moors down to the sea at Barmouth. It's about 22 miles, and we're following it as closely as we can on public footpaths and bridleways. Well, we have. We've come right off the top. We've come right off the top of the moors. That's far, have you? Yeah. Yes. We're going down to Barmouth. So. The footpath, does it go right by the house, does it? Yes, it goes down here and right down to the back of the um, Yeah, because we often feel a little bit awkward walking right past farmhouses because I'm sure that you don't like people walking past too often. Well, it's not so bad if people know where they're going. It's they're marked properly, you know, they sort of keep on going. Because when they're not sure where they're going, it's people start turning around and... Uh, Looking mm. round, so. Well, I always check the map before I go through the farmyard, yeah. check we're on the right path. Well, we're hoping the weather improves, we're going down to Barmouth. Oh, Do you think it will? It might, because as you're going down, you get better weather usually. But, oh, very uh, good. <laughs> we'll send some of it back here, because we can do it some dry weather. <laughs> yeah. Nice okay. to meet you. And you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thanks Take for your care. time. Bye. 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 Well, the rain does have its advantages. What a spectacular sight. Do you know what, Juliet? The weather is actually clearing up. I think we need our sun hats on soon. <laughs> that farmer was right then, as he said. He was. The wildflowers have been lovely all the way down this hill. We've had um, one of the bell heathers, and this is stone crop, one of the many stone crops, and that's mountain thyme. Mm, the scent of it's beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Precipice Walk provides one of the world's best views in my opinion. We're looking westwards down the Mouthack estuary out towards Cardigan Bay, while to the south the long majestic ridge of the Cadder Idris range will tempt us back another day. Far below the Mouthack twists and turns before narrowing under the beautiful black and white wooden toll bridge at Penmine Pool. Well, George, I can't believe we're actually standing in a real live gold mine. Well, we are indeed at the entrance to an adit, what a miner calls an adit, that's a drainage tunnel. I mean, this hillside is actually covered with workings, and these mines where we are now were worked for lead originally. So when exactly were the gold mines started around here? The, f the first discovery of gold, of which we've got record, was made in 1844 at Comesian, that's up near Gwynvenith. Yes. But nobody took it seriously. I mean, in those days, we were one of the biggest mining countries in the world, from tin and copper and lead, but nobody mined gold, so they thought it was a joke. Right. You found it yourself, didn't yes, you? Yes, we but found it. What was it like? Did you celebrate? Well, yes, we did, as a matter of fact. Um, the, the proprietors said, uh, take them down to the, um, what was the hotel in the Golden Line in Dargetley and buy as much <laughs> drink as you want. <laughs> And uh, I was persuaded to take a taxi home. And I <laughs> got to the hotel, they said, are you sure you're all right? I said, well, I feel all right. I've just discovered gold. <laughs> the footpath here follows the very edge of the water. We're walking along the Mouthack estuary, and this is a public footpath, but it's one that you can't get along at all times of day. Because at high tide, the path is blocked by these rocks down here. And also, if you want to check where the tide comes to in land, it's usually marked on an Ordnance Survey map by the letters NTL, which mean the normal tidal limit. Yeah. <laughs> 
just joined an old drover's road. This one actually comes over the top of the mountain near us from Harlech on its way down to Dolgethlai and it winds its way across the hills and through the fields, often between two stone walls supposed to keep the animals in. And we're standing by a very, very old stone and it is thought that this stone could date back to the Roman times but apparently the carving on it, which says from Harlech, is much later on. It's amazing, isn't it? It's a beautiful stone. We're walking up to the Panorama viewpoint now, just outside Barmouth. If you want just a short walk with great views, there's a car park not too far away. Exploring the countryside has never been easier. When you walk, you look at the world in a totally different way and you really feel part of the landscape. There's no traffic jams here. It's quality time. It's quality time of the very best in our busy lives. Mm -hmm.